Hey, what's up, Benedict here? It's been a while. Um, as you all know, I worked in Nestle before, and kasama ko ngayon yung batchmate ko don. Batchmate kasi we came in one batch uh, as corporate management trainees. So ngayon kasama ko si Miss Sarah Lopez Bosa. Hi, ka naman sa kanila. Sarah. <laughs> I was born here in the Philippines. Mukalang ako mestiza. I live in Pasig City. <laughs> so, kaya ako in invite si Sarah today uh, because I wanted to talk about a topic that's very sensitive to a lot of people. Um, for you, siguro not that sensitive anymore because you've been uh, sharing stuff about it. <laughs> Anyway, today we're gonna talk about depression. Kung and anxiety. Alam, and anxiety, yes. Si Sarah kasi was diagnosed with uh, depression. Tama ba yung yeah. term? You were clini clinically depressed. Yeah. Um, Tama I was ba? diagnosed with MDD or major depressive disorder mm -hmm. and GAD or general anxiety disorder. So those are two different things. Yes. And kasi maraming nag nagme-message sa akin uh, asking for advice and I don't think I'm that credible enough to answer. Ayoko ng mali yung masabi ko. So ngayon, in-invite ko siya para tulungan niya ako na i-share sa inyo kung ano ba talaga yung meaning ng depression and how you de how you should deal with people with depression. Do I start with the story? No, I think no. um asa na ba? <laughs> May daya pala. <laughs> May outline. First, um we're going to describe what depression is, okay? I define natin siya. Ako kasi according to the dictionary, um this is obviously a state of being sad. It's basically the feeling of Severe hopelessness and dejection, meaning super lowness of spirit ng isang tao. But ikaw, baka meron kang sarili mong um, explanation ko ano yung depression. Okay, here's how I can best explain it. Um, when you're sad, let's say something bad happens, you failed a subject or you failed a course, let's say um, you went through a breakup, uh, you lost a family member or a good friend, you know that you are distraught, you're in grief, or um, you are struggling. Na alam mo yun, yung mabigat yung feeling, yung this is ang sakit. sadness. Oh, oh, that sadness. Okay. Pero you you can imagine tomorrow. You can imagine, or mm. at least if you can't imagine tomorrow, you can imagine a year from now. You yes. can you can feel like yeah. there will be uh, a future for me. I know that sometime in the future I will be okay. Mm. And um, you can enjoy things. So like for example, let's say you go through a breakup, you go, I don't know, you go dancing with your friends or you go out. Diba? You go out and then you're able to enjoy mm -hmm. activities as, as, you, as you did before. Yeah, even with that heavy heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that for me is sadness. And I felt that. And I feel that even now. But when I was clinically diagnosed, the difference was, actually I started feeling symptoms that were very, very different. So. Ako, I was wearing like four jackets at office. Wait, so you mean you can physically feel it? So there's a physical symptom? Well, for everyone, not for everyone I know that mm. was clinically di diagnosed as depressed, but for me, I started feeling cold all of a sudden in the office. <laughs> four yeah. layers, pa ako. Yeah, I remember that. Uh -oh, um, I would start getting, parang nag-shake yung hand ko ng konti, konti, ganon. And then the crying would come randomly somebody walked in on me and I was just like <laughs> I'm okay I mean I could explain that I was super sad and I felt super hopeless but I didn't know um, why that phase in my life merited that much sadness and so I had a thyroid test because I thought I had a thyroid problem because that's what I research because you couldn't because uh, I couldn't explain, explain it. Oh, so I was like, why am I feeling this way? So I was like, I was trying to see what was wrong in my life. No, I was just going through pressure at work. Mm. Which, parang for me, was like normal. I mean, everybody goes through pressure at work. Wala namang exactly, yeah. major. I, I was not, I didn't lose anyone. I I was not going through anything emotional, like, na heavy. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, tas hindi thyroid, they referred me to a psychologist and then and he, parang hinimay, hinimay niya yung life ko. Mm -hmm. and, but in the end, he referred me to a psychiatrist because he knew that I needed something more 
immediate. Mm -hmm. So we referred me to a psychiatrist and within one, the first meeting pa lang, I was already diagnosed with uh, MDD, major depressive disorder okay. and general anxiety disorder. Okay. So as in I remember that I went to the psychiatrist's office for siguro an hour and a half. And I was just crying throughout the whole story of how the symptoms began and how yeah. I felt so hopeless, I felt so dark. Parang ang difference with depression is you start to feel like there is no tomorrow. Like you feel so unworthy of everything and you feel unworthy of a tomorrow. Parang sobrang bigat and sobrang wala. I couldn't enjoy the things that I used to enjoy. In fact, parang I started to lose a love for anything and even people. Therefore, if I couldn't enjoy anything, I couldn't love anything or anyone. What's the point? What's parang the ganun? point? Oh, oh, parang ganon. Parang I felt so unworthy of even the love that I was shown and I couldn't reciprocate. And di mo alam bakit. Wala talaga. And, and I was like trying to talk to God. I was like, where are you? Like, I cannot. Sorry. I cannot feel anything. And parang I cannot love anything. And parang it's parang that time. You just realized that ah, ganito pala yung nararamdaman ng iba when they say they're depressed. And I felt so guilty. Kasi, before that, I used to think na pag depressed ka, or when, when you say you're depressed, you want to be depressed. Um, ginawa mo yun sa sarili mo, kumbaga. And parang, bluntly put, you're like the weaker of the species. Yun yeah. Na, yeah. Pero pag nangyari sa'yo, parang, you feel so sorry for everyone that was not able to get help. And you feel so sorry that you looked at them that way. And at the same time, you feel sorry for yourself because you don't know how to, how to heal it. And you don't know how to fix it. It became an experience that even though I hated it, like I would never wish it on my enemy. I would never wish it for anyone. But because I have it, now I can fully understand. Yeah, I can feel what people say. I mean, I can feel what what they mean when they say they were diagnosed. Or even when they feel extremely sad. Even if they feel they say that they're depressed but they're not clinically diagnosed. Mm. Tend not to be so critical of, of everyone, of what they're doing. Parang madali kasi yun, ba? Madali to just judge people. I, sige, sige, sige. I think that's the difference if, if I were to go to describing sadness and depression. And depression, uh, I was given medication for it. I'm on um, something called escitalopram, uh, 10 milligrams a day. So here that would cost around 50 pesos a day. Does um, it make you feel better? Actually, no. I was given a different medication. And I'd like to share this story for everyone who's diagnosed or was given, has been given medication. When you're given your first medication and it doesn't work for you, don't give up hope. Because for me, in that super vulnerable state, I was given uh, a, a medication that I didn't agree with. What I did was, because it was messing with even my eating, I stopped it. Yeah. So, <laughs> to, to clarify, um, hindi kaya nung doctor immediately na ma prescribe yeah. ka ng medicine. Because think about it this way: if if you're in the school of thought that mm. believes that that depression is sort of a, a lack in your brain or like a chemical um, imbalance, yeah, imbalance of sorts, then a doctor cannot see that imbalance. You know, he, she she cannot tell if it's exactly this that's lost and it's exactly um, this part of your brain that's not doing so well. So, so it's basically trial and error. Trial and, to an extent. To an extent. Yeah. I, when I ask people, they don't, they can't really tell why did the doctor prescribe you this particular SNRI first or this SSRI. Uh, SSRI stands for uh, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. That's what I'm taking right now. Parang ganito. Merong chemical sa utak mo, ang tawag dyan, serotonin. It's responsible for giving you 
the sense of worth. Kung baga, kung marami kang serotonin, you feel confident, you feel brave, you feel Parang good about yourself. In a way, testosterone. It's not related. Anyway, continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how testosterone feels. Feels. Tells. <laughs> Leg luggage. <laughs> Pero, it's responsible for that feeling of confidence. Okay. Of worth. Of worth. I'm worth something. The thing with that particular gamot, yung SSRI, if you get it, um, mag to stabilize yung level mo of serotonin. The assumption being kulang ka okay. sa serotonin. At hindi ko alam kung bakit kulang. Okay. I mean, it's so, normal. So wala talagang to be there. cause. They don't. They cannot pinpoint exactly why SSRIs work or SNRIs work. But I just have to also describe anxiety if it's okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because dun dun talaga dumating yung pinaka lowest point. Uh, alam ko 50% of the people diagnosed with depression also have anxiety. So it's two different things. Yeah, magkaiba talaga siya. Akala ko it, it was a stage. So meaning you you have anxiety you'll have anxiety first and then when it gets worse um being depression. Magiging depression siya. That's my assumption. That, oh, that could be the case because for me it was anxiety first and then I got diagnosed with both. I, so I experienced the symptoms of anxiety mm -hmm. and then I experienced the symptoms of depression. But and it's two separate things. It's very different. Okay. How could I describe anxiety? When I first got it, parang I just um uh, ang una kong napansin was hindi ako maka chill doing weekends. Mm. Parang so I, I needed to work, I needed to move. And then it came to a point na one weekend na alalak pa siya very clearly Sunday morning. Um lalakad kami sa mall. Tapos yung puso ko parang tugtug tugtug. Tug, tug. And, and hindi ko maintindihan kung bakit. Anong isip ko? I was like, ah okay, it's work. Kinakabahan ako about work. Pero sobra na yung level niya na I went, I literally pumasok ako sa clinic tapos um, nagpa-check ako ng BP. And everything was normal. Pero ayon yun to Miguel. So, nagpapila ako sa internal doctor, which at that time, luckily meron. Tapos, naalala ko pa yun. Sabi ko sa kanya, uh, can you just give me something to uh, calm my nerves? Parang pampakalma. Kasi, I mean, ang alam ko lang at that time, like panic attack. So, yeah, yeah. So, sabi ko, ah, baka nagkaka-panic attack. Mm -hmm. um, and panic attack is also different from to, I think to an extent it's this, I guess so. Baka you can have a panic attack without really having a disorder. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, and, and the feeling of anxiety is very different from depression. Depression is like you don't have interest in anything, uh, you feel a sense of hopelessness and no worth. Yeah. Anxiety is you feel like everything will take uh, the worst turn. Sobrang takot. Parang As laging may masamang parating. Yeah, laging parang may masamang parating. I could not Huge do Huge pressure. Ang hirap mag, ano, magsalita kasi, yun yung pinaka problema ko. Hindi ko alam kung paano tama na paraan na pagtanong. For example, ano ba talaga yung pinaka lowest, lowest point mo before you actually decided to seek for help of a professional yeah. so good question um, for me I think if you feel that you are confused about your sadness that's valid already um, if if you went through something so heavy and you feel like the sadness is not going away it's not getting better day by day you feel a sense of hopelessness you can't enjoy things and it's steady as in indisha it's either it gets worse or steady nisha no wala i think it's valid you can book um, a meeting with a psychiatrist anytime or a psychologist if you ayo nyo muna somebody who can prescribe medications if you want you can reach out to me <laughs> i'll give you advice if you really feel super sad and it doesn't go away and it gets worse, talk to someone. Yeah, that's the most important. You should uh, don't feel, don't feed your hopelessness by by latching onto people. Meaning, because I I feel like meaning I hear a lot of young people doing that now. And they they latch their their purpose or their meaning to somebody else or something. Because pag nawala yung bagay na yon, or nawala yung tao na yon. Then they sink into you, mm -hmm. that depression. So, parang uh, if that happens to you and you're in that state, don't run after that thing or that person. I may be fortunate. Mm -hmm. Some people might not may not be able to say na parang ay hindi pala ako ito, de ba? Mm -hmm. 
Pero if feeling mo, if feeling mo kahit konti, hindi ikaw yun. At hindi yun normal. Go. Now. Now is the time. There's so much mental health campaigns, awareness. Um, people who are willing to help. What is the right approach to to someone who's clinically depressed and someone na papunta na doon? Okay. Hindi ko articulate so, No, it's okay. If, let's say kahit hindi pa sila clinically diagnosed or they haven't revealed that they're, they're diagnosed. If somebody um, generally seems depressed, ask about them. If they say that they feel depressed, be gentle with them. Do not say things like, um, I'm yan! Ano, mo ba wala na yan? Parang, ito, oh, ito, wala na yan. Oh, oh, ay, oh my God, do not say that. Don't say Kasi, that. Kasi, gine-blame na nga nila yung sarili nila eh. So, pag, pag in-augment mo pa yun by saying that, parang lalo, lalo nilang isipin, shit, kasalanan ko pa to. Mm -hmm. Kasalanan ko pa na nangyayari to sa akin. And, um, I am making other people feel uncomfortable. I, I don't know what's happening with me at the same time. Parang, um, hindi pala to legitimate. Alam mo yun, hindi pala totoong nangyayari to sa akin. Ginagawa ko lang sa utang ko to. Kung sinabi nila sad sila, don't invalidate their yeah. sadness. Definitely. Tips for people who are going through uh, very depressing times yeah. in their life. If you can go with your friend or, or that person to a session, that would be great. Kasi magbibigyan sila ng lakas ng loob. I mean, for that one time, sige, sasamahin ako. If... <laughs> Uh, somebody just needs to talk, air out uh, their feelings, their fears, so that you can get a clearer picture of what really happened in their mind. Go give them the time. Don't make them feel as if you don't have any time. Because you are worth it. And at the end of the day, they will be, they will feel so distraught and sad if you were to harm yourself or if you were to do anything to yourself. Or if they knew that you felt that way and that they could, they could have done something. Take it from those who have been there. Okay. And then, if somebody's on medication, as in the diagnosed man, um, then help them stay on track. Take their meds on time. Um, take notes about how they feel about it, uh, the, like a, a diary or a journal. And if your doctor feels like they do not care, or hindi mo ka vibe yung doctor, switch doctors. Do not feel like that's the end. Of course, there will be doctors that you will not immediately feel that connection with and of course dahil may medical may transaction ng pera parang uh, minsan feeling mo hindi totoo yung relationship hindi totoo yung care yung pag diba? pag that's normal empathize. for you to feel that way get that validation get that listening ear get that that comfort from your friends your family they are there they are willing if, if not um, there are several hotlines you can call I'll put it down yeah. below on the description box Yes, yeah. and places you can um, book a psychiatrist or a psychologist in. Yun lang. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story and for really giving good advice. Um, alam, mo, alam nyo guys, sobrang... Hey, <laughs> Three years ago, yeah, I, I noticed na may, may something sa kanya. And... May idea na ako na may, baka nga depression siya. And nakita ko physically eh. Nakita ko kung yeah, gaano. Ang payat. Ang payat. Lagi namumutla. Parang, parang puyat. Na parang problemado. And looking at you now, sobrang radiant. Sobrang glowing. And sobrang swerte mo na you were able Super. to seek help. I, and I don't think that for granted. So, but I try to help as many people as I can. But I wish, I mean, and thank you for giving me the platform to just even share it. Whew! Medyo mabigat yung session, no? And siguro, sorry then if may times na feeling mo wala kang matakbuhan. And... It's so thin, <laughs> That I'm also learning still. There, yeah. there could be medical advances or discoveries that would prove what we know now to be wrong yeah. and what I could have said could be proven wrong yeah, one yeah. day. Pag may gusto kayong idagdag o i-share na knowledge, let us know. Comment it down below. Promise, uh, it would be a big help. I hope you guys learned something from today's video. And if there's anything, anything. <laughs> Oh my god. guys, na ubos yung English ko sa kanya. Tahimik na lang ako the whole time. I think you have a YouTube channel also. Oh my god, wag niyo tignan. <laughs> I'll put your ano, Instagram account also. I'll see you guys again on my next video. Tai Jian. That's my outro. Tai Jian. It's um, goodbye in Chinese. Tai Jian.